Okay, so we will start just the introduction into UC2. Um, get familiar with the cubes itself and then also assemble the, in, uh, the inline holographic microscope. So what we have here is the one half of the cube and you can already grasp, so these are symmetric, so you can just put them together um, and then close the cube and it is becoming a cube. 50 times 50 times 50 millimeters. And um, it differs um, with respect to the um, 3D printed version by means of uh, you have these pits that cannot easily 3D print it um, and they go into the base plate. So you already see the base plate is like a puzzle piece. Uh, they can be mounted on, for example, aluminum rods to make it more stable or on the optical table like uh, those from Tholabs. And uh, what's also nice is you can stack them. So when you have more of these cubes, you can just uh, put them together and form arbitrarily complicated setups. And since you have always cross connections, it's becoming really, really stable. So you can um, try to get uh, this um, <laughs> well, out again, but this is basically not possible. And so uh, the cube itself is just a cube, um, no magic to it. But what's really special about it is that you have these inserts. Uh, here, for example, one that can hold a sample. Um, and so uh, the, the insert itself has always the same shape. You can see it's a bit like a stop sign. Um, it has this shape so that it becomes uh, yeah, exchange exchangeable for different um, applications. So for example, if I uh, manage to put the um, thing on top here, well, <laughs> bad example, I should have prepared myself a bit better. There we go. Um, this holds the sample and it can go into the cube. It's automatically uh, aligned. So when I'm taking the cube, um, it's pretty stiff, then I can just open it again. I put the insert in here um, and then once I close it, I can shift it along the optical axis. So depending on what's the precision you want to have, so you see already it's not really centered, so you can always shift it uh, back and forth here. It can be a bit tilted, um, so it depends how thick you print it. So for example, if you print the insert a bit thicker, uh, like this here for a Tholab sense, uh, the chance that it's tilting uh, significantly reduces. Um, for the holographic microscope, we want to have different cubes. So we want to have uh, a camera that's mounted to the C-mount um, insert, so you just screw it here. So your camera looks a little different, so it's uh, one from Tholabs. So this here um, is a one from Light Vision. This goes into one cube, and uh, the sample basically has to be mounted right before the camera, so that the distance between the chip, you can see that in here, which is unfortunately quite far away, um, is as close to the sample as possible. So we just close it again so that the distance between the sample here is just a leaf. I think in, I hope in your case it will be uh, something a bit more fancy like diatoms or uh, something that scatters a bit more. Um, it's relatively small. So we place the leaf here, um, somewhat centric with respect to the uh, sensor so that we see something at all. And um, this here is placed on one base plate. And then the, on the other side, relatively far away, we want to place uh, an LED. And the LED is already prepared. Uh, it's soldered to the wires. Uh, so this is a high intensity LED. I think yours may look a bit different. So we will place this here uh, on the insert for the LED uh, with some double-sided sticky tape. So we prepared that here. So I think you may have something that's looking very similar. Um, so we cut away a little piece of this <laughs> super strong uh, double-sided sticky tape, just like that so that it holds inside the cube insert. So we just place that here. It's becoming a bit nasty. I take care of your fingers. I think mine are already pretty much broken. Um, so we just do it like so and place that exactly here at the LED, which is then becoming centric. And that's now the LED insert. Um, what we also want to have is a pinhole. So what's this? Um, so we do that by just taking aluminum foil um, so maybe you're already lucky and find little holes, but we will do this trick um, offered by uh, Professor Heitzmann, uh, who is actually the, the lab guru <laughs> in, here in Germany. So you take a syringe needle, you fold it several times, you make a hole in it, and then the, the slide that has, that's in the very back has the smallest hole, so you just do it like that. Maybe rotate it quickly, and so that you see this is very big, but the uh, the pinhole on the uh, unfolded version here is very small. We just cut it out. Oops. <laughs> well, do it again. Maybe I should take scissors. So we just fold it several times.
punch a hole in here. Now I'm going to take scissors. Just finding the pinhole, which is right here. And now I'm trying to cut this piece out. So this is now the the pinhole. <laughs> we can just point it here so that you see that. So to, to create some kind of a camera obscura. So you see there's the pinhole. Well, there we go. It's very hard to see. Um, and we go. We're going to um, add this to the. So we're going to add this to the insert with this chewing gum or blue tech, however you call it, is for a poster. Um, it's better using that than the double-sided sticky tape because otherwise it will just break. So we again take this here, we take um, a cover slip, and then we just put that here. And <laughs> add the aluminum foil here so that it's roughly um, taped. There we go. So you see, there's a little hole on there, and this acts as our pinhole. So we can test that now, so we'll just mount it here, so hopefully I'm a bit more lucky to add this thing here. So I think you need to have some force, depending on how precise the printer printed. We add the aluminum foil to the assembly, roughly centric. You can also align it a little bit later. And then we're going to illuminate the LED. So for this we take the ESP or the CC board, um, which you are seeing right here. So the, the LED needs 3.3 volts, so we add it to the 3.3 volts pin here, the plus, and the minus is the ground, so you can take any pin that says ground, for example the one on the left hand side, and now it's uh, super bright, and so if we place the pinhole with respect to the uh, LED, you already see there's like a bright spot right here. So those two now go into the cube. So you just open this thing again and place, uh, I'll make sure that this is having a maximum intensity somewhere close to the uh, center, like so. You add the two into the the cube and essentially you created a point source that's emitting spherical waves that travel a certain distance uh, namely from here to there which is uh, 20 millimeter or 150 I'm oh, sorry just last check <clears throat> so what you're going to see now is the pinhole and this is what will produce our spherical waves so yeah Put everything together, you clean up the, the space, make sure you don't hurt yourself, and we're done with the first setup. So now we need to connect the camera and um, get familiar with ImSwitch. Thank you.